Welcome to Dunwoody College of Technology, Mechanical Engineering 2240, Mechanics and Materials. This is problem 967 from Hibbler. So we have a frame that's supporting a distributed load, this triangular distributed load. And we're asked to find the normal and shear stresses at E that are parallel and perpendicular to the grains. So the grains here are at 45 degrees as shown. And this is the shape of our, our member at this point. So what do we need to do? We need to find, step one, find internal loads at E. And then step two, we'll use those, draw, we'll use more circle here. We don't necessarily have to use more circle. But that's one of the advantages is that we can quickly draw all these things. So we'll, we'll practice more circle with this problem. And from there we'll get uh, sigma, say that would be sigma x prime and tau x prime y prime at E and 45 degrees from where we are. And actually, that will be 135 degrees because they will uh, be rotating our, our stress transformation by another 90 there. So what do we need to know? Well, we're going to start up with member BD. Or, sorry, that goes to BC. So let's see, we have CY, CX. We have a pin, so I don't think we have another load there. And we're going to have something here. B Y distributed load. This is three meters, nine hundred newton meters, newtons per meter. Excuse me. So if we uh, resolve this load, we're going to get F R. It's nine hundred times three. Three divided by two. That's going to be acting at one meter from C. So using that information, we need to find B, Y. So we're going to do our moments around C. So we have this positive moment, right? 900 times 3 is 1 half. It's our load in newtons acting at 1 meter away. And then we're going to have minus 3 B, Y equals 0. So B, Y be 450 newtons. My threes will cancel out here and I just end up with the 450 newtons on that side. So on member BC my load is going up. That must mean that on member BA from this pin I'm going to have a load going down on A. And that makes sense, right? It's, that's where that force is coming from to support that load. Uh, so we're going to transmit that the other direction. So if I section this beam at or the column, excuse me, at E, we're going to see that we have a uh, normal force at E is negative 450 newtons. It's compressive, it's into the member, so that's going to be negative. Member, oh, not member, member AB N equals negative 450 newtons. Our stress, sigma at E is N over A, so we get negative 450 newtons over what we have here, we have 0 0.1 meters from here times 0 0.05 meters on the other side. So we're going to find a, a stress, normal stress of negative 90 kilopascals, and that's in the sigma y direction. Is there anything in the x direction? Do we have any shear here? Not as we've shown it so far. So there's no x loads here. Sigma x is going to be 0. And we don't have any um, other things that would cause shear at this point. So tau xy is also 0 at this point. So now we have the pieces that we need to draw or start working on more circle. So 
So we need sigma average is going to be sigma x plus sigma y over 2. So we get negative, well, let me start with 0. That's sigma x, 0 minus 90 kilopascal over 2. So we get negative 45 kilopascal. R is going to be from this point to there. So we don't have any tau here. So we don't need anything crazy there. So it's going to be R equals the square root of negative 90 minus negative 45 squared. It's going to be 45 kilopascals. So we sketch this out. Here's tau xy is down. Sigma x is positive to the right. We're at negative 45. Our radius is 45. Or sigma x was 0. Either one of those should give me away. So here's point A here. This is negative 45 and 0. This is 0 and 0. This is negative. I'm sorry. Whoop. is negative 90 and 0. So my Morris circle or circle-ish thing here. And where are we looking for? This is the, the bit that we need to figure out. So my grains are running at this direction here, 45 degrees, right? So we showed in the picture. This bit there, 45 degrees. So we're going to be looking for a sigma x prime that's that direction. My original sigma x was this direction. So how far did I go from here to there? If I just kind of transpose this over here. I get 90 degrees to there plus another 45 there. So this is 135 degrees equals uh, theta. It's close enough to a theta. So what do we have? 2 theta can be two that two times that, so 270 degrees. So I start here, rotate around, and again theta is positive counterclockwise. So here's two theta is 90 degrees, two theta is 180 degrees. There I am. This is my point that I'm looking for. And so what do I get at this point? I find sigma x. Sigma x prime is negative 45 kPa. Tau xy prime is also 45 kPa, but it's positive. And sigma y prime is just, we weren't asked for that. That would be acting that direction. Oh, sorry. No, that's right. I would have to segment it again and go this direction going the other direction. So there we are. We have sigma x prime, tau x, x, y, x prime, y prime, negative 45, positive 45. And we got that from Morris circle. So if we wanted to find it somewhere else, say this point in between here, we've got our already on the on Morris circle and we can find that directly without having to do significantly more calculations. So I hope that was helpful in this problem. Just to recap, we found our internal loads at E using regular equilibrium stuff. Then we draw more, drew more circle by finding our average, shear, average stress and using that to find our radius. And then finally we use more circle to find tau x prime, y prime, and sigma x prime at that 45 degrees, uh, which actually ended up being uh, 135 degrees or 270 on our more circle.